So I have just written the value of t and t prime in this equation. Now here c is cancelling with c, 2 is cancelling with 2 and just move this one here, right? Or you can move this one here, it's up to you. So it is, uh, this one is gamma and this is gamma squared, right? And this will be x is equal to you move gamma square here and it will simplify with this and you will have 1 minus v square over c square here and x prime because you can write this a square root of this one into square root of this one one square root will cancel with this one and you will get x equal this gamma times uh, this is 1 over gamma times x prime so what you got actually is x prime or x is equal to 1 over gamma times x prime this is 1 over gamma or from here you can now assess the situation and the situation is consider those previous speeds if now the box is moving with the speed then what about x and x prime let's say x prime measure the length is one meter then how much x measure it one meter by 1.2 so less than one meter right so if this one measure this is one meter then this number is one by 1.2 and this measure the stationary observer measure less than one meter so what the stationary observer will say the stationary observer will say that the motion causes some shrinkage like the stationary observer will see a one meter stick slightly less than that one so he will say that is a consequence of the time dilation the length has shrink but we will have to keep this thing in mind that this shrinkage will only be a long direction of motion and not perpendicular to the direction of motion so it will be only along the direction of motion and here um, this we call is the length contraction or the length shrinkage let's come here to uh, the length contraction and then we now uh, discuss this one the twin paradox and then we will come again to this one to the barn and later paradox or if you want is we are done with this one so we will first discuss the barn and later paradox and then we will discuss the twin paradox right what is the barn and later paradox in griffith this is uh, one of the example and the example is a bit of funny type or weird type that a farmer is having a barn the one in which they keep the cattle and are some you can say their food ladder you know the ladder which you use now the ladder is slightly more than the size of the barn so it is not fitting in there and what the farmer the farmer tells the daughter that I have studied a little bit of relativity and I have come to know that when things are in motion very fast then they shrink so now it is not fitting into it then why don't you run with the ladder very quick so that it shrink and we will fit it in there so this was the situation right but his daughter has studied relativity even more than him 
and she said that when I will be running with the ladder, then the ladder length will be the same as it is. To me, it will not shrink, but to me, your barn will shrink even further, and the situation will become more weird, right? So that was the uh, barn and ladder paradox. That why it is not fitting in there. So we don't have the reason behind this one is that we don't have any measurable size which we can move close to the speed of light and that's why we don't observe the length contraction. The elementary particle resolve the issue of the time dilation but length contraction is yet a question. And the twin paradox, let me discuss this, the twin paradox a little bit. The twin paradox. Now in the twin paradox, what is uh, usually said the example that the on a globe twins were there, okay, and one of the twin remain on the globe while the other just you can say sit in, in a space shuttle and went for some period let's say five years and then after five years when he returned he was expecting that his other twin will be celebrating the tenth birthday because he was celebrating the 10th birthday and he comes to know that actually he is celebrating more than the 10th year like 12 birthday or more it depends on the speed here so it is a paradox that why the relativity equation are giving us the wrong result but this is not the problem of the relativity equations it is the problem of the wrong applications of the relativity equations why because when how this one can get in into the space shuttle if the space shuttle is going closer to the speed of light this one cannot sit in it so it means the space shuttle was stationary here and then it accelerated to reach that speed. So it is not an inertial frame of reference. The special theory of relativity equations, they are for the inertial frame of reference. So in the first, it is accelerated and that caused the problem. And when it reached here to this point, it returned, means it followed a curved path here. And a curved path is again the returning, it's again acceleration. You call deceleration or acceleration, it is acceleration. Again, there is acceleration. And even at the stopping point again. So these frames are actually not the, this one is considered as inertial frame of reference, but this one is not inertial frame of reference. So we cannot compare two different frames. And that was the reason that the equations were applied on a wrong example. They are not the inertial frames of reference. You got it? Okay. Now the causality. means the cause and effect. Let's say we are having uh, event 1 and event 2. And let's say this is an event on a star that star is exploding for example and this star also explodes where is the observer the observer is let's say here at this point the observer is here 
Now the distance from this star to this one is let's say two light years. And the distance between this star and this star is let's say eight light years. Let's say this event two, this event two occurred just two years back. And this one occurred, let's say four years back. Which one we will come to know first? Like this one occurred two years earlier and two light year is the distance so the information the explosion or the information which were traveling to us will take two light years here so it means two years and two light years so this one will reach us first while if you look here this one has occurred four years back after that much time means half the distance will it will cover it will be just four light years so four further light years remains to reach the observer so the observer it is not necessary that the observer see the event in exactly the order in which they have occurred right the observer can see the events in reverse order as well it depends on the distance of the observer because this one because in four years it has just covered half the distance while half the distance remains so although this event happened earlier but it is coming to us later coming or reaching us later than this one this was a comparably fresh incident but it came earlier it depends on the distance speed of light is constant no causality is not this thing causality is this thing that what if this event would have caused this event like this is the cause event one is the cause and here explosion occurred and this explosion triggered this explosion so is it possible then is it possible to see this event first and this one later right like is it possible that the effect you see first and the cause is later is it possible then so the answer to this is no it's not possible the reason because let's say this event occurred here and now this event is causing this one so the maximum speed information is traveling to this one is c so first that information will take c with the speed of c it is coming it cannot go faster than the speed of light so it will take some time then from here the information is coming with speed c so this distance and this distance cannot be less than this distance here the information is coming with c so if it is the cause and the effect situation then it is not possible but it is possible to see the events in reverse order clear this is this is called causality and now the last one is the simultaneity like in simultaneity means two events are occurring exactly at the same time then is it possible to see the event means like one observer see the event earlier than the other one like you are having uh, let me explain this thing simultaneity
simultaneous events <clears throat> let's say i'm clapping my hand this is an event our two cars are striking each other a blast is occurring now this is an event which has occurred no is it possible that two different observer like one stationary observer and another moving observer see this event not simultaneous like they observe it different events like for one it has occurred and for the other it has not occurred yet that is another situation that is the situation of causality right like consider this and this event has occurred exactly at the same time this and this exactly at the same time now to the observer which one will come first this will come first because the distance is less light will travel with some speed but it will cover this distance and it will reach here simultaneity means there is an event which is which has occurred whether two observer can observe this at different times same event these are two different events distances are different now the same event which is occurring so the answer is no it is independent of the motion of an observer because the event will travel the event will travel and they will observe this exactly at the same time so i can say the look at the equation of the relativity equation t prime is equal to t minus u x over c square and times gamma now what does it mean at the same time at the same location both x is 0 both t is 0 now when we only say t is zero they are at the same time so these two incident occur exactly at the same time but they were not at the same location that's why they traveled one in a reverse order but when the time is the same the location is the same it is called simultaneous event right simultaneous event now when t is zero and when x is zero then t prime is equal to zero so it is independent means the time for both the stationary and the moving frame it will be the same so simultaneous events simultaneous means not only time but also location location is also important otherwise causality will come in it's the same event occurring but different locations are there that's why the order of reception was different right so in the next lecture we will uh, go to uh, we will discuss the four vector space like we are now moving to the relativistic Uh, terminologies like in forms of coordinate system in the form of momentum in the form of energy and we will start distinction between the rest values and the relativistic values okay thank you